Hello, Yeti. Oh, my phone has gone crazy. What am I doing? What am I doing? I think I'm doing ASMR. No, not really. But I am going to edit the title of this for sure. This is our On Guard Daily Vlog 1. Daily drinks with digital duelists. I think I'll make a playlist called On Guard Daily Vlog. Vlog. I have a long story about vlogging that I want to share. Automatic chapters. Wow. Privacy, security. You can add tags, open source, freedom, mobile. Stream language. Uh -oh. hmm. I think I think this is good for now. All right. Stream health. Stream health is excellent. I hope that my audio is coming through. It's coming through here. I guess I should do a quick test. I'm going to look at myself, Inception style. Pull up our site on my phone. Make sure. You know, this. Oh, there I am. About 10 years ago, the National Hockey League created something called the Guardian Project after we had been around for two years. And it was this ridiculous Marvel, MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe style uh, world building effort where they created superheroes for every hockey team the National Hockey League, and, you know, they're supposed to, and, and it was fine, I guess, some of them were interesting, they put a lot of money into inventing sort of second-rate superheroes, um, it was like when I was a kid, you know, you'd, you'd have a Spider-Man comic, and then you'd get this free one that was about, like, sponsored by Colgate for brushing your teeth, and there would be, like, a bacteria or plaque man or something stupid, it was a little bit like that. I guess they collaborated with Marvel, I don't know. That was just a bad idea, but I'm always annoyed because it really screwed up our Guardian Project naming effort. Okay, here we go. That was just a bad idea, but I'm always annoyed because oh, yeah. it really screwed up our Guardian Inception. Naming effort. Okay, this will keep go. going forever. Okay. Pretty good. I don't have perfect sound today, but I have sound. And, um, oh, I have a viewer. Should I promote this? I'm so bad at these things, but why am I here? Well, we are going to be, I'm going to be doing this more. Share, there we go, share to Twitter. Share, Let's see.
And I didn't even shave, but what the heck. I'll just go through with this for a little bit longer because I'm trying to, it's September 1st, fall has begun. And um, I'm trying to develop some new habits, some new skills, some new uh, media outreach capabilities. And uh, live daily vlog. I'm tweeting this today featuring Nate Freight. do yeah sorry I'll stop tweeting this is really boring watching me type I bet but I just want to see how uh, what happens on Twitter if people come in and then I'm I am oh, I know what I want to do I'm gonna am I recording this oh sorry so I'm using OBS studio and I am now recording on OBS and streaming this is important because um, previously I tried just streaming live to YouTube, and it's really hard to get your video off of YouTube if you're just streaming there. But if you use the wonderful Open Broadcast Studio OBS software, amazing software, really. And I know it's kind of proved its worth and metal this year in the pandemic with so many people becoming live streamers and churches and schools and professors, OBS really is something amazing. Um, all that you can do, um, like, I'm not even getting into it, but I haven't, I just have, um, you know, there's some fun stuff I can do here, like write my name, woo, and move it around, wee. <laughs> um, really exciting, I know. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I should have some scenes set up. So, um, but yeah, you want to record locally in OBS and then I can take this file and publish the daily vlog, our NGARD podcast daily vlog vlog to the decentralized web or to, you know, IPFS or to library app or to anywhere really. Um, and, and so you want that file that source file. And then I can chop it up and edit it and I can pull out the audio for this and put it in our podcast and all these amazing things. So um, the other thing I've used OBS, um, you may have seen work on, um, uh, if you've seen our work on Clean Insights, which is, um, you should go to cleaninsights.org, which now I can add that link here. There we go. definitely check out cleaninsights.org if you haven't. Boom, right on my shirt here. Um, it's an issue with my desk. Uh, cleaninsights.org has some videos, um, you know, where you do screencasts with green screen and, you know, showing your development environment and all sorts of wonderful things. And I've done a few of those. Again, OBS works great for that. Um, but what am I doing here? The daily vlog and guard and guard. I don't have a sword. And cut. I need a. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I got this from Mozilla. It's, it's like the Jedi. They were really into like Star Wars iconography for a while at a few of their dev conferences. Here I am. Um, and this is one of the awesome like Firefox, Fennec Jedi Fennec, Fennec Shand, Jedi. Um, I should get a new lightsaber. So mine are all destroyed. And um, yeah, I just wanted to try a habit of speaking independently and publicly more. We have our podcast, which takes me time to produce and I've been slow on and I need someone, honestly, a podcast editor that we're going to get help with that on. 
but just turning on the live stream and talking for a bit and people watch it now people watch it later people watch it never um at least i'm recording some of my thoughts so i'm gonna keep going for a little bit um it's the end of the day here september 1st 2021 always a complicated uh, another complicated day in the world but um in some ways i'm yeah i'm pretty up op more optimistic than ever in some of the ways that we can respond and help people in the world through some of our technology uh oh here comes little me um and uh i'm also excited because my children are mostly back in school no, I, I'm on a live stream here right now. There's flour in the refrigerator. It is a, in the lower left. You see it? Okay. Um, <laughs> I say the word live stream and small humans get really excited as if I have a large audience. Um, but I really don't. And um, anyway, most of the time now, my children are back in school full time, which is very exciting. But uh, I guess they're home now and doing cooking experiments, which is also fun. Uh, what was I going to say? Well, I was just saying that, you know, we're trying to both stay on vision with the work we're doing in the world with helping people and kind of our technology roadmap. And um, we have a bunch of things we're so close to like announcing and sharing that I'm super excited about. Um, Clean Insights was one that we worked on through the early summer and this year, and we did launch that. And we're doing actually a bunch more exciting things to kind of help people adopt it into their apps, but also to learn about it and to figure it out and to understand our new approach there for private measurement. Um, but we also have um, our work with um, offline networks, specifically humanitarian and human rights kind of disasters, be it hurricanes or floods or internet outages. And, um, whoa, I moved, wow, I didn't mean to do that. No, there we go. Um, is the work we've been doing on, on Second Wind. Um, and actually, I just realized, here's another cool feature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do this stuff because you can, which I love. Um, hold on, watch this. Watch this, real time here. I'm going to be adding, I'm gonna turn off this. I'm gonna be adding screen capture, yes. And I'm gonna choose the screen. I don't want the whole screen. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. Yowza, that's wild. Um, there's two ways. Window capture. Thank you. Window capture. Here is the window that I want. Yes. Is that the window I want? Hide. There we go. Okay. Boom. I'm live streaming and I should move myself over here now. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, so we've been working on this thing wind for a while and um, really to, the w wind is a counterpoint to the web where the web is kind of permanent hyperlinks and fixed servers. Wind is ephemeral links and mobile nodes. As just a driving idea and there's lots of ways it's expressed. And so second wind is um, the effort, you know, we, um, competed with Mozilla and the National Science Foundation in a contest to get funding to build solutions for semi-disconnected and disconnected communities to have access to content and information and knowledge. And our approach was a synchronous offline um, content distribution. There was a bunch of other aspects to what we proposed, but we did, we got fourth place prize. And um, so we did get some funding from that and to evolve our idea of building an off-grid app store um, and content store. And we've been improving F-Droid, the fdroid.org core platform for that um, while also curating our own repo of apps that are really you know capable of working during outages, when off-grid, during disasters, um, even just for fun. 
and we built um, kind of a new Second Wind App Store build that defaults. It's a version of F-Droid. And um, we also have the idea of using jump drives, sneaker net drives to share and distribute apps and content on mobile devices, a hotspot or mesh network that you can deploy an, an app server on, um, and also the nearby mode. So um, we have this whole site we've been working on that's available in English and Spanish. Everything's translated and video walkthrough and so many great things that we're excited to share. Um, and then um, help people build these systems for them themselves as they need them or their communities. And um, you know, we had a lot of plans to be before hurricane season be traveling to areas that might need this, like in Puerto Rico, for instance. Um, and we still plan to do that and help get some of these systems deployed. And then also in more internet um, blackout situations because of human, you know, fault and issues where app stores are blocked or the internet's blocked. So, yeah, so I'm really excited. And this is one of those areas we've been, you know, really working on for years. And, you know, the core um, F-Droid project led by Hans Christoph Steiner um, from our team is amazing as a community that's been working on the, the core platform for free and open source software distribution. And, you know, closed app stores and proprietary app stores are like so big in the news these days, right? Um, because of um, Google and Apple and the US government and Epic, the Epic lawsuit, and to be providing a alternative solution for that with free software that also can help people in kind of crisis situations. It's a project we're really proud to have been affiliated with and support for a long time. And so we have this second wind aspect to it, but we also have, um, and, and by the way, there's a very, you can go, this is all live today, you know, but the idea is you install F-Droid, you install our new repo for curated offline apps, and then you can access all of those. You'll see like categories for that. And, um, but then we're also working on a, a simple one-click Swapo app store, second wind app store that people can use directly and just have these apps. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And also we have some more news coming where we're really getting involved in, I guess, the decentralized web, you know, and, and more rather than just HTTP, thinking about other protocols like IPFS and ways to do app distribution through de decentralized, verified, secure networks. Um, we've also worked with Tor and confidential routing for a long time. And so um, the idea of app and content distribution there as well being important through with privacy is so key. So, yeah. Well, I'm getting up to, uh, I have one minute left, 20 minutes. I think that's probably good for a daily vlog vlog though I know streamers some streamers just hang out like all day and like talk and uh, maybe I'll get to that point I don't know if I have that much interesting stuff to say but you know second wind I'm excited about and I mentioned clean insights I'm also very excited about um, if you need to measure um, your software and we've you know the audacity open the audacity of the audacity project and uh, who had a bit of a kerfuffle around their introduction of proprietary analytics after they were acquired. Um, you know, we kind of stayed out of, out of that, but this is what we built Clean Insights for, is to have a privacy open, open oriented approach to measurement with really great software, open source software, and lots of ideas and discussion on, around how to do this. So please check that out. And we're, we have a wonderful team that's ready to assist you and implementing we have a lot more coming there soon including coffee so if you love coffee soon you'll have even more reason to love boop, 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 boop. clean insights so i think that's the vlog for today i'll leave you with a little moment of meditation a little quiet time i can hear the rain remnants of Hurricane Ida making its way to the northeast, but 
Let's keep everyone in mind in the world who's facing uncertainty, difficulty, trauma, um, and keep ourselves focused on building solutions for them through positive, empowering technology uh, with transparency and trust and all that baked into what we do. I'll be here for that, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how I do. <laughs> we'll see how I do. Take care. On guard. Keep up your guard, and I'll be back tomorrow.